it's Phil Pike out. We're here in sunny Florida, the West Coast area of Florida, also known as the Sun Coast of Florida. So we begin our 2019 schedule at Pike Out Sports and Entertainment. This week, we begin a venture down to Fort Myers, Florida, as we get ready to check out the world champion, the defending world champion Boston Red Sox, take on the Northeastern University Huskies. It should be a fantastic event, and you should check it out. Over many years, I've developed a true fondness for the city of Boston. I first moved to the greater Boston area as a kid way back in 1975. As an adult, I experienced three separate corporate relocations back to Boston. For this reason alone, there's no wonder why I developed such a fond appreciation and respect for the Boston Red Sox. Northeastern University having earned both my undergrad and graduate degrees there in business, and most recently, my realtor and friend, 2004 Boston Red Sox World Series champion pitcher, Mr. Lenny Donato, who sold my home in 2017. As the cold February winter hits Fenway Park in Boston, let's now head down to JetBlue Park in warm, sunny Fort Myers, Florida, where the defending 2018 World Series champion Boston Red Sox begin their 2019 spring training by taking on the Northeastern University Huskies. <laughs> Sports fans, it's Phil Pikeout live at JetBlue Park in Fort Myers, Florida as we begin the 2019 spring training season where the defending world champion Boston Red Sox will take on the Northeastern University Huskies of Boston. As the Northeastern University Huskies team bus arrives at JetBlue Park in Fort Myers, Florida to play the 2018 World Series champion Boston Red Sox, let's take a rare look behind the scenes. Thank you. 
Hey, we're here with Kyle Murphy here at JetBlue Park. He's a starting pitcher for the Northeastern University Huskies. So tell us, what is it like uh, here pitching against the world champion Boston Red Sox? Uh, it's going to be awesome. It's it's a dream come true. You know, every year we, we've come down here and played them, and it's just it's a really cool experience. They're very welcoming, bringing us in, bringing us in here, having us play against them. But this will be my first time actually playing pitching. Um, it's going to be really cool. Just hopefully I can go out there, throw some strikes, and get some outs. That'll be ideal. So hopefully so, and hopefully you get some uh, bats in as well. I mean, uh, obviously you're playing American League rules, so uh, pitchers not batting. Yeah, no, I won't be hitting. I'm not. I'm just a pitcher. So. But you look like a really strong guy. You probably hit it out of the park. I used to hit in high school, but not since I got to college. So. Just be throwing, just be throwing a couple in inning today. So, now you're from Bill Ricca, Massachusetts. So, uh, how was the trip uh, down here? Was it uh, a couple of days ago from Boston? So it was about 30 degrees or 20 at least. Yeah. At the high. Yeah, it was. It was good. You know, we we were down in Houston, Texas last weekend for our opening series. Um, it's nice and warm. Head back to Boston where it's snowy and 25 for a few days. But you may not want to come back. <laughs> it's always good to get down here, warmer weather, and feel good. You know, get the body feeling good and get ready to play some baseball. Great. Now you're a red uh, shirt junior. So what are your plans or hopes uh, for the future? Uh, you know, I'm just kind of thinking about this spring right now. Hopefully, have a really good season. Um, we went to a regional last year with an at-large bid. Hopefully, we can do that again. Uh, win the conference. That's those are some of our biggest goals. So. That's what I'm focused on right now, and, and whatever comes in the future after that, we'll, we'll go along with it. Yeah, definitely with uh, two uh, CAA uh, championships back-to-back, 2017-2018. -back, uh, so uh, what's uh, this year look like? Yeah, those were uh, regular season championships, which is awesome. You know, We hope to do that again, but we kind of hope to continue our success into the conference tournament. And We were one game away last year from winning it all, and uh, hopefully we can get, get that last game this year. Right now, you did make one trip to Raleigh last year at the NCAA Division One. Mm -hmm. You played with against uh, played against Auburn and NC State. Okay. Those were our two games. So they, they they at least gave you some experience to at least move up uh, this year and to see what uh, will happen this year. Yeah, it was good. You know, there uh, it was good to see the competition of baseball that they play at, and we know we can hang with them. We we actually we just played Missouri last night, who's an SEC team, and we came back and won. Yes, one congratulations. Late. Thank you. So it, it's good to see that we can compete with them, and we know that we we got a bunch of grinders on this team, and we'll, we'll, we can go out and compete with anyone as long as we play our game and play the full full game. Definitely. So now, probably one of the things that your opponents don't have is the experience of playing against the Boston Red Sox. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely. And you know, it's always cool to just kind of see how they go about their business. Because uh, they're obviously professionals, which is it's different than it's different than college, but it's cool to see how they go about it, and uh, we just try to learn anything we can from them to kind of take back to Boston with us. Great. Now, what is your fastest pitch? Uh, it's my fastball. I don't I don't really know what my velocity is, but I just try and put it in a good spot where where they can't hit it. Okay. Do you have a knuckleball at all? No, I don't. I throw fastball, curveball, changeup. So uh, pretty okay. simple, standard. <laughs> Hopefully uh, you get a whole bunch of strikeouts and a lot of chaos on the board today. Yeah, Thank you a, again. That would be ideal. Thank you. Hey, this is Phil Pike out live here at Jet Lee Park. I'm here with Mike Lavin, the head coach and also Northeastern University extraordinaire. Mike, thank you so very much for uh, All right. spending some time with us. You got it. Thanks for having me. Some questions for you. First of all, I wanted to congratulate you on uh, an outstanding season last year. You made NCAA Division One, yeah. at least the first round. Yeah. Uh, lessons learned from that and how yeah. you progress uh, this year. Yeah, that was a, quite an experience for us last year and, and really proud of what the team accomplished. Um, you know, I think back, I remember our first team meeting last year and we talked about getting back to a regional and, and either doing it by winning a conference championship or or making it as an at-large team. And we made it as an at-large team out of the Northeast in a non-Power 5 conference, which I think is something you, don't, you, know, you won't see too often. So just really proud of the accomplishments the team uh, had last year and, and uh, in springboard us into this season. We're looking forward to another fun year. Cold weather in Boston. Yeah. Um, you look at this as a vacation a little bit, but this is a business trip. It's so. a business trip with a little pleasure mixed in. You know, uh, yeah, we got we actually got lucky to get out of Baltimore. Our connecting flight it was snowing there and 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 sleeting, and so we we're lucky to get down here in the warm weather. Um, you know, and this day is always fun. It's a little stressful because you want to, as a coach, you want it to go well and and represent the university and the team the right way and and make our alums proud. And 
from a playing standpoint, I want to get as many players in as possible. And it's really just a fun day. You know, we haven't beat these guys yet. The games have been close some years. Other years, it's been a little, been a little lopsided. But overall, it's just a fun, fun experience for all of us. Now, this is the 17th time. So today's the day. Today's, today's the, the day. day. Today's the day. You know, I, I don't believe in upsets. You know, it, you know, when your time is up, your time is up. So yeah, uh, the greats will often, often tell you. When uh, you know they usually uh, win, they don't think about it. It's it's they're in the zone. Yeah, and I think you know the guys have fun with this, you know, and and uh, they're going out there trying to do their best. And you know, when they look over, they see the word Red Sox on the words on on the uh, in the opposing dugout. So it can be a little intimidating. We play in front of a great crowd today, but overall, it's all about the experience and not the result. Experience. Uh, have any of your players been inspired to switch from an aluminum bats to? wooden bats? Well, we have to use aluminum uh, during the season, NCAA rules, and so we, we use the aluminums, but in the summer leagues, uh, they're almost all or exclusively all wooden bat now. So the guys will use the aluminum with us during the year, all you know, in fall baseball and into the winter, and then um, over the summer they'll use the wooden bats. So they get to experience both. Uh, today we use the wooden bats against the Red Sox pitchers, so uh, you know I'm probably sure our guys like to use the aluminum today. But um, I mean, do they work out at all? A little extra in the weight room? Yeah, you know, and they'll practice them with them right now during batting practice. They'll hit with the wood bats, so they'll get acclimated to that for the game today. So um, it's all part of the process and part of the fun. And, and I think the guys actually really like hitting with the wooden bats. Great. Now speaking of uh, you know postseason, uh, how many of your players play in the prestigious Cape Cod League? Yeah, we're that, what, what a great league and what a great experience. Every year we usually have two to four guys play, and it's elite league. It's the number one summer league, and of course all our guys want to play down there, and um, and and so the guys that are fortunate enough to play down there, they have a great experience. We've had a lot of guys down there in the last five years. We've had some guys win the conference, uh, the, the Cape Cod championship, so that's been a lot of fun to watch. So. It's and definitely, they own all that to you. And your uh -huh, they don't owe anything to me. These guys work their tails off. But um, what we try to do is get them down there, you know, call the coaches and try to get our players placed down there and, and get the respect that they deserve and, and, and want. And so, and it's fun to go down there and see them play over the summer. You know, we'll go down as coaches and, and watch our guys play. And, and they, you know, it's one of the best summers of their lives playing down the Cape. Oh, certainly. Now, being that Cape Cod is almost in your backyard here at Northeastern Boston. Mm -hmm. And uh, also in light of the Patriots and the Celtics and the Bruins, I mean, it, am I forgetting anyone? The Red Sox. Red Sox. You know, it, it, does it get tired of getting boring of, of just winning all the time? And does that influence your recruiting efforts at Northeastern? Uh, it never gets old winning. Uh, <laughs> and, and we always joke, we have a lot of kids on our team from New England. I think uh, we have at least 28, I think is what we have. And, I think we have the most kids in New England on our team than any, any college baseball team in New England. So uh, our guys, most of them are fans of the Boston sports teams, and so we get to enjoy the winning and enjoy the enjoy the Super Bowls and the World Series. So uh, from our standpoint, it's you can learn from watching those teams, you know, and, and seeing their success, and and it's fun for us to follow them. And of course, now we get to open up with the Red Sox, who are defending champs. So. You know, we want to we want to win. You know, we want to be like those guys and get a championship and and get back to a regional. So it, it's been fun to watch them all. Yeah, well, one of the things I know people can relate to, especially with all the success in Boston, is the word team, not individual, but team. So how do you parlay that to your success at Northeastern? That's a great question. And with baseball, it can be a very individual sport. And what I have is 35 individuals, and we're trying to make them one. We're trying to make them whole. We're trying to make them a family. Try to make them a team. And so we always celebrate the team. You know, we try not to highlight the individual too much. Of course, we want them to get, uh, you know, accolades and awards. And we had Player of the Year last year in our conference. We had Rookie of the Year last year in our conference. We had first team um, all-conference players, which is great. But at the end of the day, the moment that we shared the most last year was when our name was called to go into the NCAA Regionals. And that's the moment you highlight because we're all together as a team and as a family. So we talk about that all the time, celebrate the team. It's about the team, about the team, about the team, and not the individual. So it's something that's definitely a focus for us. Sure. Now, in a um, forum like this, JetBlue Park yep. and the Boston Red Sox, what does your team get out of playing in a game like this? And what do you think the Boston Red Sox get out of playing yeah. a team like you? Well, for the Red Sox, we'll start with that. You know, it's it's their chance for them to get out on the field again, and it's their first game usually every year from last season. So 
they get to get out there and run around again and play the game of baseball, which they love. And Do you think they forgot anything from last year? I don't think so. I don't think they're as nervous or as excited maybe as they were in the World Series, but um, it's always a thrill, I'm sure, for them to get back out on the field. And, you know, we always have a mix. So the Red Sox will put big leaguers out there and they'll have, a, you know, aspiring big leaguers and guys in the minor leagues, and it's a chance for them to show what they can do. So um, it's, it's, it's a great day. I hope they enjoy it, the Red Sox, meaning they – we love it. We learn. We watch them. We watch them take batting practice. We watch them throw their bullpens. We watch them pitch. We watch them field. We try to soak it all in. And you watch them win. And we watch them win. But this could be the year that maybe the tides turn, but we'll see. Hopefully so. Now, your older brother, Tom Glavin, uh, no one, very few people probably realize or recognize the fact that his middle name is Michael. Your first name is Michael. So how did you two uh, become so lucky to have your first name? Uh, I do, yeah. I have an older brother, I guess. Yeah, he's, he's somewhat famous, so he was, he was pretty good. But you're famous as well. Yeah, yeah, famous, yeah in different ways. But, um, yeah, you know, we're close. Obviously, my parents are the ones I guess that... you'd have to be close with the same name. You know? <laughs> right, so if, yeah. if one got in trouble, you know, the oldest the got in trouble, so you... Yeah, it's a younger guy who probably hide away. And yeah, and he's there's a pretty good age difference. You know, he's seven years older than me and, and uh, not quite as good looking. But, um, <laughs> you know, so growing up, that was probably the one causing the trouble because I was younger and hope, hoping he got, in, he got in trouble for it. But, um, yeah, we had a great relationship. Did it obviously. work out that way? Yeah, it did. And, and <laughs> it was fun following in his footsteps, you know, and, and being being close. And lie the Northeastern University Huskies men's hockey team and their successful victory in winning the Bean Pop for the sixth time. Yeah. Do you feel any pressure being that they just tied you now to root on maybe for your seventh victory in the bean pot? We, you know, thinking about that, we wanted to win it last year for sure. A hockey team won last year uh, for the first time in a while, and we, we wanted to, you know, follow in their footsteps, and we ended up losing in the finals. But it's one of our goals every year. We want to win the bean pot. It's one of our five goals. and. Um, so we want to do it, you know, and, and we're so proud of what those guys are doing, Coach Madigan, Coach Keith, and their staff, and I love following those guys and all our teams. The athletic department's had a ton of success, and so we absolutely want to want to try to win that bean pot this year. Great. Well, that question came exclusively from Northeastern double alum, Mr. Mark O'Leary, who's also a Jeopardy champion. Oh, there we go. Well, uh, tell Mark we want to we want to do it. So we we don't feel pressure, but it's definitely one of our goals. You hear that, Mark? So yeah, love <laughs> anyway, it. Anyway, love it. Real pleasure. Thank you so very you. much. All that's a luck to you. Thank you very Today much. Today and the season. Appreciate it. Thank right. you. Thank Thanks. you. All right. That's a wrap. That's good a wrap. Job. Good job. Oh, yeah. good. Hey, this is Phil Pikett live at JetBlue Park in Fort Myers, Florida. And it's the start of the 2019 season against the Boston Red Sox as they take on who? The Northeastern Huskies. The Northeastern Huskies. You must be on the team. This uh -huh. is Liam. Hi. Everybody. And Liam, tell the folks at home, what is your role? To cheer the team on. That's a pretty big, big responsibility there. You, I, I know that you did a good job yesterday because they won their first game down here in Florida. Yes. So you're going to cheer them on again today? Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. All right. And who's this handsome uh, guy next to you? Is this your dad, dad or your brother? My dad. His name is Jeff? Yes. Is he a pretty good dad to bring you down here? Yes. Missing school? Yes. No, you're no, on vacation. No, I'm on vacation. You're on vacation. That's a, that's a pretty good vacation to watch the Northeastern University Huskies annihilate the Boston Red Sox. Is that your wish? We hope so. We hope. You hope. Now, who's your second favorite team? The Red Sox. Okay, so the, the Huskies come first before the, the Sox. Uh-huh. And do you live in Massachusetts? Yes. Where do you live? N Norwood, Massachusetts. I know where Norwood is. That's a pretty cool town. So anyway, Jeff, tell us a little bit more about uh, Liam's uh, position on the team. Well, Liam is an honorary member of the team through a nonprofit called Team Impact. Uh, they, group kid they group children with life-threatening illnesses with college athletes. It's one of the greatest programs ever invented by a gentleman named Jay Callum. Um, it, Liam was the 200th boy selected and recruited by the Northeastern University Huskies. I believe Team Impact is in the thousands now as far as grouping kids with college kids. And you got pretty lucky there to be teamed up with the Huskies. Absolutely. My brother and sister both graduated from Northeastern University. My wife actually teaches clinical nursing for Northeastern. So the, so the fit landed perfectly, and Liam 
since he was two and a half. Fenway Park has been his church. It's his happy place. He never wants to leave. Whether they're winning, losing, it doesn't matter. So uh, baseball was a big passion of his, just like mine. As a kid, I grew up 10 blocks from Fenway Park. Great. Well, on that note, let's uh, wish the uh, Huskies uh, success. On the count of three, say, go Huskies. Go Huskies. I didn't say one, two, three. You, sorry. No, no, don't be sorry. You, you can do the count, and then you will lead off by you. One, two, three. Go Huskies! Phil Picot live, Picot Sports and Entertainment. We're here in sunny Florida, JetBlue Park. We're here with Cam Walsh, outfielder for the Northeastern University Huskies. Thank you again, Cam, for uh, taking some time out of your day. It's just another day in the park. Yeah, another one. Uh, it's definitely a little, little more special than the others, but uh, try not to make it too big. You know, go out and play baseball and enjoy ourselves. Take a look around and definitely soak it in. Now, I hear from rumor that you're playing some team from Boston. I've never heard of them. Uh, yeah, we've uh, we've heard good things about them, but it's it's the other team in Boston. The other team in Boston that, by the way, won the World Series last year, the Boston Red Sox. They sure did. They uh, they had a tremendous group, and I think it's uh, you know watching them day in and day out. It's something we definitely we definitely learned some lessons from that team. Now, what kind of lessons do you think that you can learn from Northeastern University Huskies? You know, Coach Glavie is always preaching, uh, you know, it's about the team. Baseball can be a, can be a tough sport. And, uh, you know, if you, if you put the team first, be a little less selfish, you, uh, you tend to succeed a little bit more. Yeah, that's definitely hard to do sometimes. So um, what is your anticipation for this season, 2019? And you know, to follow back-to-back -back championships at C uh, CAA last year, 2017-2018. Um, what, what does it mean for you, especially as a senior? We're off to a decent start. We're uh, we're two and two right now. We had a big win last night over Missouri, um, and that was that was huge for us. I think it showed us, you know, kind of what we had in us. Um, first weekend at Houston Baptist started a little bit slow. Not everyone was off to the start they kind of wanted to be, but. Last night was huge for us. We came back, scored four runs in the eighth inning, and, uh, and then shut them down in the ninth. So that, that was that was big. And then, you know, going forward, back to back regular season champs. But we're hungry for more. We wanna we wanna win the CAA championship. We wanna raise that trophy. We wanna be the last team to turn our uniforms in in, in you know end of May. Um, so so we're hungry. We got some people to prove wrong. Right now, any uh, opportunity for the Cape Cod League this summer? No, I'm a, I'm a senior, so. That's right. That's right if, so. Uh, if nobody wants me to play for them in June, I'll, I'll be hanging them up. Well, hey, hire this guy quickly. <laughs> He's a good player. You'll be able to catch him on Nesson today, uh, defending the and, and defeating the Red Sox, Boston Red Sox. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We'll, we'll see about that, but we're going to have fun. We're going to enjoy this one. Great. Well, thank you again for your time. <laughs>
While the NU Huskies fell short today in their 6-0 loss to the defending 2018 world champion Boston Red Sox, the NU players, coaches, families, and fans leave here with a lifetime of memories and something they can all be proud of. For Picot Sports and Entertainment, this is Bill Picot. Thanks for watching and have a great day.